Good evening and welcome to Quotes Today by Live Law. This is your host Urvashi Chahan bringing you the latest updates on the legal front. This is your go-to source for all things legal. Let us start. Starting with the updates from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court today directed the district magistrates at Yavatmal Maharashtra and Raipur Chhattisgarh to take appropriate steps after concerns were raised over potential hate speeches at rallies planned by Hindu Jan Jagriti Samiti and Bharatiya Janata Party legislator T. Raja Singh later this week. Despite not stopping the rallies, the court instructed the district magistrates to ensure that there is no incitement to violence or hate speech during the rallies. Additionally, the police were advised to install CCTV cameras at the locations if needed to identify individuals involved in any untoward incidents. The bench comprising Justices Sanjeev Khanna and Dipankar Datta was hearing an application seeking to direct authorities to deny permission for the rallies. The application that was filed as part of a batch of writ petitions seeking directions included certain alleged speeches made by the organization and Raja Singh inciting hatred against the Muslim community. The Supreme Court has issued notice in a writ petition seeking directions to the union government for preparing a DNA index to help identify dead bodies. The bench comprising CGI Chandrachur, Justices J.B. Pardewala and Manoj Mishra was appraised of the fact that each year 40,000 dead bodies are found which go unidentified and unclaimed. The counsel appearing for the petitioner submitted that on previous occasion, the union had given a statement regarding making of the legislation in this regard. A bill was also introduced in the Lok Sabha. However, after being passed, it was lapsed. Then it was reintroduced, referred to the committee and was finally withdrawn in July last year. When the CGI questioned as to how could the court direct the parliament to make a law, the council clarified that the petition sought for the union to make the DNA index and use the technology for finding out the missing people. Further, the bench issued notice on the petition. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment on a PIL petition which sought to formulate a community kitchen policy to avoid starvation deaths. Similar to the concept of soup kitchens in the United States and Europe, the petitioners here seek a policy to feed the poor by serving a limited menu of nutritious cooked food at below the market price. The objective is to combat hunger and malnutrition. The petitioner informed the bench that a response from the union was pending. Additionally, that since 2020, several assurances had been made in court that the union was working on a scheme. The state submitted that petitioners wanted the government to fund these community kitchens, but decisions related to funding and policy fall within the jurisdiction of governmental policies and should not be dictated by legal proceedings. Initially, the bench consisting of Justices Bela M. Trivedi and Pankaj Mittal was not inclined to sustain the petition. However, following persistent arguments from the petitioner's counsel, the court allowed a week's time to submit an updated compilation of arguments and reserved judgment on the matter. The Supreme Court has refused to cancel the bail granted to the accused turned approver Rajiv Saxena in the VVIP Augusta Westland chopper scam. The Augusta Westland case is a high-profile corruption scandal involving allegations of bribery in the procurement of VVIP helicopters for the Indian Air Force. The case revolves around the purchase of helicopters from the Italian defense manufacturer Finn Meccanica, now known as Leonardo, for the communication squadron of Indian Air Force. Saxena, a director of two Dubai-based firms, is one of the accused named in the charge sheet filed by ED in the case. In 2019, a special CBI court in Delhi had allowed him to turn approver and had granted him a pardon. Appearing on behalf of CBI, additional solicitor general S.V. Raju contended before the court that Saxena was not cooperating with the investigation. But CGI pointed out that the trial judge had granted the bail not only on medical grounds, but also noting that he had actually cooperated. The bench comprising CGI Chandrachud and Justices J.B. Pardewala and Manoj Mishra refused to interfere and dismissed the application for cancellation of bail, although liberty was granted to CBI to move an application before the trial court. 
The next update is on the LMV driving license issue. The Supreme Court today adjourned till April the Constitution bench hearing of the reference on the issue whether a person holding a driving license in respect of a light motor vehicle that is LMV can on the strength of that license drive a transport vehicle of LMV class having unladen weight less than 7500 kg. This question was answered in affirmative by the three-judge bench of the Supreme Court in Mukund Devangan versus Oriental Insurance Company Limited in 2017. But in 2022, the decision was doubted by a coordinate bench and the matter was referred to a five-judge bench. Earlier, the court had asked the union government to evaluate the issue and consider amendments to the Motor Vehicles Act so that there is no adverse impact on the livelihood of millions of transport vehicle drivers. Attorney General R. Venkata Ramani informed the court today that deliberations were going on with the state governments regarding the possible policy changes. Thus, the bench comprising CGI Chandra Chood, Justices Rishikesh Roy, P.S. Narsimha, Pankaj Mittal and Manoj Mishra posted the matter for directions on 16th April. The bench clarified that it will proceed to hear the matter on merits if the issue is not resolved at the government level. In another update, today the Kerala High Court emphasized the importance of conducting regular inspections of eateries and food manufacturers to prevent any unfortunate incidents related to the consumption of outside food items. Justice Devan Ramchandran made this observation while hearing a plea filed by the mother of a 16-year-old who lost her life in 2022 after consuming shorma. In response to a previous direction from the court, Food Safety Commissioner Jafar Malik appeared before the court and informed that special drives and awareness classes were being conducted to avert such accidents in the future. He appraised the bench that over 13,000 shawarma stalls had been inspected so far and notices had been issued to 4,900 stalls. No instances of food poisoning or allegations of substandard food being sold were reported in Kerala in the last few months. The court stated, shawarma becomes poisonous when it is consumed after the stipulated period within which it was intended to be consumed. So it further said that it is vital for eateries to mention the time period within which the food article should be consumed. And lastly, the State Consumer Commission Uttar Pradesh has decided in favour of a complainant in a dispute against SM College of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Research. The case of the complainant here was that he had enrolled in the Bachelor of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry degree program at the college in 2009. Despite paying a substantial fee of 2 lakh rupees for the first year, he alleged to have faced difficulties regarding recognition of the degree and was later informed that the course had lost its approval from the concerned university. Feeling aggrieved, he sought a refund of 4 lakhs from the college along with additional compensation for mental distress and litigation expenses. The District Consumer Protection Mathura accepted the plea and issued an order directing the college to comply with the refund and compensation. But the complainant appealed against the order for inadequate amount of the compensation granted. The appeal has now been allowed by the State Commission along with compensation for mental distress and cost of litigation. Thank you for watching. If you wish to know more details about the cases I mentioned here, you can visit our website at www.livelaw.in. Stay ahead with quick legal updates only on Live Law. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and support us. You can also support us by donating through the thanks button at the bottom of our videos or consider becoming a member at just 89 rupees per month.